Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So firstly, I want to apologize if I sound a bit funny. I have bit my tongue and it really hurts. Um, also want to thank everybody for joining the Discord. Uh, it's starting to get a lot of members in there now, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord, go ahead and join it. We do some giveaways and we're about to do our first game jam. So yeah. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to touch on something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now um, and that's actually being able to aim in with our weapon. Um, so the way I'm going to set this up it should work. Uh, hopefully in the future we'll make it so that it works with multiple sites um, so that we can switch in between. So we need to bear that in mind uh, when we create this system. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is on the same layer, uh, layer, same level as my uh, Azure weapon model, so inside weapon animations, you want to right click and just create an empty. And what you want to do with this is we're going to use this as our reference point to the iron site or your red dot, whatever you have, any kind of site. Um, so I'm just going to drag it up to roughly where I'd want the site to go. Um, so basically look, just line it up with your reticle. Uh, I think that's how you say that word. <laughs> um, and you should be good to go. All right, so that's going to be good enough for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And let's rename this to site target sweet all right so the other thing we need to do is go into our input so we need to add in our aiming in um, so what I'm going to do is just add a uh, another action map for weapon and inside this action map we'll use this action and we'll call this fire to pressed and we'll create another one for fire to released okay and then the binding inside of them uh, we'll just set that to a right mouse click and interactions we're just going to add a press for the pressed uh, make sure that's press only and for fire to release we'll do the same thing except obviously instead of leaving this as press uh, we will change this to release only let's go ahead and save that all right, so let's open up some scripts. Let's go into our on our player character controller. So we'll click that and open that up. Okay, so firstly, a few things we need to do. So we'll add a new header just below here, and for now, let's just call this aiming in. And below that, we'll create a public pool for uh, is aiming in. Um, and then we'll also add a new region below update or aiming in. And then inside there we'll have our private void aiming in pressed. And we'll have, we'll duplicate that and of course instead of press we'll have released. Okay, so for now, let's just set uh, aiming in to true when the press function is called and set it to false when the release function is called. Nice and simple. I know there's a simpler way of doing this, but you'll see why I've done it like this uh, later on. And obviously in the awake, I'm just go ahead and add our two new ones. So you've got to remember we changed that. It's now default input dot weapon dot fire to pressed and we'll call our aiming in pressed and let's just do that again for released and release. sweet so now we got a boolean that toggles um, what we then want to do next is let's just out of here um, and inside our update uh, so let's also add another function here for private cal private void calculate aiming in and let's just chuck that in the update below the stance and we'll just say if no current weapon 
F exclamation mark current weapon will just return. So basically if there isn't a current weapon then don't do then just exit out of this function. So we know that if we get past this we have a current weapon. So our current weapon is a weapon controller. If we go into that script, go into our weapon controller script and um, we'll create a public boolean. Uh, so first let's do a hide and inspect. So we'll do a public bool for is aiming in. So I'm probably going to ask why have I got two of the same variables. Um, again, that'll make sense a little bit later. So our weapon has a variable on whether the weapon is aiming in and our character controller has a variable on whether we're aiming in. So regardless of the weapon. Um, okay, so what we'll do is for now I am just going to set current weapon that is aiming in equals is aiming in. We'll just do that for now. We're going to come through and change this. There's multiple things I want to do. For example, make it so that uh, the current weapon is aiming in as false if we're not grounded or if we're sprinting. Um, so stuff like that. So inside here below this update as well, let's just add another private void for calculate um, aiming in. And we'll pop that inside the update as well. Sweet. Okay, so now what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be smooth stamping. Um, we're going to basically work out where the, where the camera is. We're going to work out where the site target is. And we're going to calculate um, what we need to smooth stamp a vector to in order to get this site target into the center of our screen. So sounds complicated, but isn't too complicated. Um, but first things first, let's go ahead and click on our player and just make sure that that boolean is being set. That is aiming boolean. So when we right click, it should go to true. Obviously, if we release it, it should go to false. Awesome. All right. So inside our weapon controller, there's a few things we need to add. Um, so let's go ahead and add in a new header. And what we'll do is we'll just call this sites. Okay. And what we basically need is a public uh, transform and we'll just call the site target um, so that's going to be the the game object that we created we'll also have a public uh, actually let's do a public float um, for site offset so this will be how far the weapon is away from the center of the from the camera um, and then we'll also need a public float um, just for the aiming in time. And then what we can do is we'll just create a... Uh, actually, we can use our... Okay, we'll create a public vector 3. And we'll just call this weapon sway position actually that can be a that can be a private so we're going to be using our weapon sway game object uh, that we created in the previous tutorials uh, just to avoid filling filling up our hierarchy with a ton of effectors uh, so we'll, we'll call this weapon sway position um, and what we're actually going to do down here with our weapon sway is we're going to comment this out so we're going to disable the weapon sway for now uh, mainly because we're going to add it to this vector 3 anyway um, so actually let me just move this down a little as well so sway position is now well we can rename that later is basically just going to be the breathing um, position or the bre breathing offset i think is what we'll call that um, but we'll we'll come back to that during the cleanup stage uh, what we then also need to do is because we have a weapon sway position is because uh, we're going to be smooth damping it we'll need a uh, weapon sway position velocity okay so coming back down to our 
calculate aiming in. We'll create a variable for target position. Um, and we'll just set this to transform.position. And then what we'll do is we'll just say if is aiming in. Uh, what we'll do is we'll change this target position. Um, and for now, let's just change it to our character controller. Um, character controller uh, dot camera holder, I believe. Do we have our camera in here? Uh, actually, we could just use the camera holder. Camera holder dot transform dot position. So what this is going to do is it's literally going to put the gun in the camera, <laughs> but we'll we'll come back and we'll add in um, our offsets here. Um, okay, so <clears throat> what we then want to do is do our weapon sway uh, position, our new one that we made, um, and we'll just say that equals weapon sway object um, dot transform dot position. All right, and then what we'll do is we will lap the lap. Sorry, smooth lap. Sorry, I'm kind of I'm winging this. So <laughs> uh, if it doesn't work, we're gonna have some really bad results. So we'll do weapon sway position. So once we've set it, we then want to lap it um, in the same frame. So we'll say uh, that equals vector three dot smooth damp. Pretty sure I said lap again, but we're just gonna ignore that. What we want to do is we want to lap weapon sway position onto our target position. Um, and then we'll reference our weapon sway position velocity. And the time is our aiming in time. Cool. All right. And then the last thing to do is our is to use this vector. So we'll just say weapon sway. Uh, object dot transform dot position and we will just set that to this weapon sway position up here. Okay, nice and simple. Um, so what this should do is as soon as we right click the weapon should really kind of come into the camera if that makes sense. Um, should anyway, let's uh, we need okay. So this is expected. Um, we need to apply our offset, and let's actually let's change our aiming in time to like 0 point, 0 point two sight offset. For now, let's just change that to something like 0 point, or let's just change that to two. I don't really know what that should be. Uh, sight target. Obviously, click and drag that into our sight target reference here, so that we can use that. So what we need to do now. Is, oh wait, let's quickly check that that smooth tap works. Okay, so I'd probably like it a bit quicker. Uh, 1.16, that'll do. Uh, so what we need to do now is obviously apply this offset and also make it so that it's relative to our sight target and not the actual gun itself. So the first thing we'll do is make sure that it's relative to the sight target. Um, but to do this, it's actually pretty simple. Um, what we can do is we can literally minus um, our transform.position. Um, so in brackets here, let's just do plus, um, and we'll do uh, weapon sway object dot transform. Actually, we can just use transform dot position, can't we? Transform dot position minus site target dot transform dot position. Okay, so it's kind of like working out the difference between the two and just adding that on as an offset. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like now. Now that our site target is set. So I'm just going to hit play. Okay, so okay, so something isn't right there. So let's go back into our control. Let's just make sure I've got this right. Okay, let's okay, let's work that out relative from our weapon sway object. So instead of transform, let's do weapon sway object dot transform dot position. 
and we'll minus site target. Uh, it's already a transform, come to think of it. So we can just do site target top position. All right, let's give that a go. We'll hit play. Let's, okay, there we go. Um, so you see it's perfect, except the gun is obviously way too close because it's coming straight to the camera. So this is where our offset comes into play. Um, so now we just need to add an offset um, on this target position to move it forward. And we can base that off of our site offset variable up here. So again, let's just add another modifier to this. We'll do brackets again. We can actually access our character controller um, dot camera holder. Um, and what we want to do is we want to get the transform dot forward. Um, and we can times that by the um, site offset variable we have up here. Let's go ahead and pop that inside there. So we're literally just moving the moving the weapon forward relative from the camera. Um, based off of our site offset variable here. So I'm going to hit play and let's hope it doesn't shoot across the map, <laughs> which it kind of does. <laughs> okay, so two is obviously a bit too much. Um, so let's try like more in the, uh, let's just <laughs> set it to 0 0.16 and see what that looks like. I'm going to hit play. Okay. All right, that's nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, okay, that, so that's perfect. Um, so again, uh, to stop the camera from clipping through, um, as you can see, the, uh, when, the, when the mesh gets way too close to the camera, um, you can actually see we're entering the near clipping plane, um, so the camera just clips it. So to stop this from happening, just click on your camera, look for clipping planes, and just change that to 0 0.01, so I'll let things get real close to the camera. And then once you've done that change, you'll see the clip near clipping no longer happens. All right, so nice and simple. Um, and the fact that it's part of the weapon script uh, is nice because it means obviously multiple different weapons. You can play around with these and set it right for that exact weapon. Um, and again, like I said, in the future, we're going to make it so that it works with multiple sight targets. So if you have like a canted uh, red dot sight and a sniper scope, you can easily switch between the two. Um, so I want it to be a nice dynamic system. Uh, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next one, we're actually going to be um, affecting the movement speed, the weapon sway, and everything based off of this is aiming variable. Um, just that when you aim in, you move a bit slower. Um, your weapon doesn't sway as much, etc. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.